Hey Kingdom Kids, it's your girl Donna the B, and I'm back with another video. So I'm just getting off work, y'all, and I'm sorry that I have not been uploading as much as I may want to, but I've been working a lot. I am just trusting the Lord for something in my life, and I don't never want to be lazy. I don't never want to be giving my all and putting forth um, all the effort that I can, okay? So I've just been working a lot, but I ain't giving up on y'all. That's a never, okay? So a lot of people are asking me how to create that intimate space with the Lord, right? And so this is just one way that I know that my life really transitioned, right? So I had, I don't know if I explained this to y'all before, but I had read the Bible like completely through. I had read it and I was like really just absorbing the stories in the Bible, right? And so that's where I had realized that, you know, we were royalty and that the book was, the Bible was not so much about don't do this and don't do that, but it was basically like teaching us how to live as royal, teaching us about a kingdom, about a king, about a royal family. Um, I think I did explain that to y'all before, but so the fact that I started to realize how much God wanted for me, the more I started to realize how important I was to God, how much he loved me, how much it was just like, I started to realize who I really was in God. I started to realize who God really was to me, that he really was my father, like, and that he had a, a very comforting, a very fulfilling love for me that he will always show up, that he never wanted me to feel alone, that he never wanted me to feel um, with, like I was without anything. So when I started to create that intimate relationship to where it was, it's like, even in my sleep, I'm talking to God, I'm going to God. And sometimes I talk to God like, well, Lord, this is what's on my mind. This is how I feel about it. I know that I might have not handled it correctly, but this is what I meant when I said what I said. This was what I meant when I did what I did. It's like I really pour myself out to the Lord, and I, and I don't just go to God in prayer just asking for things. I go and I give my heart. I tell him what's on my mind. And so I just started to create a space where, the relationship between me and God was all that I really cared about. It's all that I care about. And not to say that I don't care about my family, not to say I don't care about, you know, anything else. It's just that that is most important to me because I know that with that relationship, everything else will fall in line. Everything else will be added unto me. So it's like I kind of just made it to where the relationship I have with God and my spiritual growth is number one. It's number one, and I just take God with me everywhere, and I and I take everything before the Lord, and I just give it to him, and I leave it there at his feet so that he can help me with it. I understand that I don't want to do it by myself. I understand that I can't do it all by myself, not if I want it to be done right. And so when I started to let that be the just of my everything, like the spirit of the Lord being, being in the presence of God all day, every day with everything that I do is just like things started to change. Um, the Lord started to use me more. It's like when I offer myself up to God, he's like, okay, well, I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to use you now because you're offering yourself up to me. You are giving me all everything to do what I, what I see fit with you. So I'm going to use you. And so it's like, that's when I started to really see God move and lead me and, you know, be the author of my life. And so I feel like the way for you to create that intimate relationship between you and God is to just, just, just humble yourself before him, which means give him everything, give him every part of you and he's going to be present. So just start creating that everyday, um, relationship where you don't only just talk but you also sit there and listen and you make sure that you look for the signs and you ask God for the signs you ask God for the wisdom you ask God to be present in your life you ask the Lord to cover you you ask the Lord to come into your environment and come into your house and just go before you and everything it's just like the way that you talk to him it, it really has to be a welcoming humble intimate thing so 
I hope that helps y'all. I'm finna do my homework and get some sleep because I'm still a human being. I'm not a superhuman, y'all. I need some rest, but I gotta do my homework because it's due. So with that being said, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. I am anointed. I am fully relying on God. My faith is great. My God is a miracle worker and my God is all powerful. I am anointed. I am fully relying on God. My faith is great. My God is a miracle worker and my God is all powerful. And with that being said, good night to all my kingdom kids. I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next video.